Good evening, Renaissance Unity. Good evening, friends, and good evening, family. Happy Monday, and welcome to Monday Night Meditation. What a joy, honor, and privilege it is to connect with you as we come together in this sacred space, bringing our collective energy, our consciousness, our higher level of thinking to create this spiritual vortex of love, peace, and joy to move out from us and to the world through our spiritual practice of meditation. Thank you for being here and thank you for being an amazing part of this spiritual community. I'd like, like to also thank you for your loves, your likes, your comments. I so appreciate them. And know this, as much as you appreciate me, I appreciate you and it is my privilege and my honor to connect with you by way of our meditation through our Zoom and through Facebook. So thank you again for being here. You know, February is the month of love. And so I've been focusing in on this heart of love and acts of love. And I don't know where it was, but I read a quote that said, compassion is an act of love. And so they got my brain working. Yeah, it, we can be compassionate, but truly is it an act of love? And I thought about it. Indeed it is. I answered that question. So um, I did some research and, you know, I'm always looking for ways to um, enlarge or enrich our conversations. And I came across a, a daily word. That's a, a really go-to source for me. And it says that I am an instrument of God's pure love in the world. I view all with compassion. Compassion is a human form of love that clearly reflects the love of God. For compassion is generous in nature and involves a willingness to give. With true compassion, there is no desire to have an agenda or to control. There is only a desire to give love and understanding without reservation. As I open my heart and my mind to God's love in prayer, my capacity to love expands. I am then prepared to express compassion in all that I think I say and do. When I look at circumstances around me with sensitive understanding, I view others compassionately. I hear what they are really saying because compassion improves my listening. I'm an instrument of God, instrument of God's pure love in the world because I view, I am, I view all with compassion. So yeah, that answered my question. Can and and it, it quantified or qualified the um, quote that I I read that compassion is an act of love. So this evening, um, as we continue our journey um, this month in love and in strength, uh, I thought we take a journey into compassion and this one is says compassion for infinite thoughts compassion and for into infinite thoughts so let's get ready for our spiritual time together time for us to relax renew to plug in and get that spiritual energy that we need today is monday we've got the rest of the week until sunday and so we've got this this opportunity to plug into the source of our being, get the energy that we need so we can traverse any challenges that we may have this week and move on until we get to our Sunday connection and our Sunday service. So I invite you now just to get comfortable, just right where you are, and just become aware of your breath as you allow your breathing to call you to this place of rest, relaxation, and just calm. And whether you're breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth or breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your nose, just allow the rhythm and the pattern of that breath just to relax you. Just be free, be in this space and allow whatever that needs attention, know that it, it will be there when you have finished some compassion and self-care for yourself. So just breathe into the space. And allow yourself to just get fully grounded in peace. Soften your gaze. 
to close your eyes and just relax. Just allow the seat or apparatus or whatever you're sitting in or lying in just to enfold you in this place of peace and comfort. As you soften and let the energy of what was just pass and be present in this moment. Just breathing in and breathing out. Relaxing. for this mental and spiritual retreat. Just for a while, just here right now. Just breathing in and breathing out just naturally. And now, just still in your mind. Still in your thoughts. And being present. There is nothing more important than this moment. Right here and right now. And as you sit, take a moment to connect to the ground. Through the soles of your feet. Or your bone as you sit on your bones or whatever is touching down. Feel that connection to the ground. And with a long, slow breath in through the nose, lengthen your spine and take a long, equal breath out. as you become grounded and connected. Just do that one more time. Long, deep breath in on the inhale. And when you get to the top of that breath, just hold it for a count of four. And gently, slowly release the breath. Allowing yourself just to return to just a natural rhythm. Not forcing, not trying to control. Letting the breath do as the breath knows what to do. Just allowing your body just to soften. And as you sit, as you sit here watching the breath. Draw a slight smile to your lips and just allow the body to bask in the sensation of happiness. Feel that, fill into that sensation as if you already knew and if you already had total happiness in this world and that it is the cause of your future happiness. Feel that sensation, that moment. Feel it right here and right now. And as you connect, you know that you have everything that you need. And with the felt sensation of this happiness, how it feels in your body, imagine sending that same sensation to either one person, a particular being, or a living thing in this world. And 
And now imagine. This one particular or everyone feeling that same full body happiness and contentment that you feel right now. And from this sensation of happiness, allow yourself to feel as though you are also free, free from every pain and any suffering and all causes of future pain and suffering. Still breathing in to that slight seen and unseen smile. You are completely free from pain and suffering with your whole body. Drop into this sensation of how good this freedom feels. As you wish the same for just one particular being or all beings everywhere. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering and all causes of future pain and suffering. See all other beings happy and free from pain and suffering. And as you send out this wish, feel the energy of that wish fulfilled coming back to you as your happiness. And your sending happiness to others causes the happiness of others to return back to you. See all other beings, all, all other beings, those who may not come to mind, see them free from pain thanks to your wish. Feel that joy of what you have created for others through your wish. Locate that joy in your body and rest in the awareness of this joy. Resting and feeling completely full of joy, send it out to others. Send this wish. May all beings everywhere feel the same complete and full sense of joy. May they feel the joy of a full body connection to happiness, fully absent of any pain or suffering. Mm. 
in your mind's eye. Allow yourself to imagine a world where every being was connected to joy. And because of this connection, not a single being would ever hurt another. And recognize this world begins with you. It begins with your willingness to connect to the joy within you. Your willingness to share it with others. And so, may you always be willing to share joy and may you share it freely to all beings equally, whoever they may be. Imagining now for a moment what it would be like to live in a world where everyone freely and equally shared their joy. Now intentionally send out that wish to everyone. This is the wish. May they feel the joy of a full body connection to happiness. May they feel the joy of a full body connection to happiness. May they be fully absent of any pain or suffering. Now allow yourself to imagine a world where every being was connected to joy. And because of this connection, not a single being would ever hurt another. And recognize that this world began with you, with your willingness to connect to the joy within you and to share it with others. Now take some time, take some time to just bask in this energy of joy and peace and love, these four intimate thoughts of happiness, people free from pain and suffering, and to know that your wish, your energy, was the conduit to creating this world. And when it's time to return, I will ring a soft bell.
it is time to return. Time to return to this physical space. Allow yourself to feel the fullness, the expansiveness of what world you created through your willingness to share, through your willingness of compassion, to allow compassion to be an act of love in all that you say, think, and do. And to know that you are a conduit of love through your compassionate thoughts, your words, and your deeds. Feel empowered and energized to know that you are doing what is yours to do. Breathe into the awareness and the expansiveness of this consciousness that you have allowed it through this wish your higher self to arise repeat after me I am radiant love wherever I go I am radiant love wherever I go. And through love, I bring myself into harmony with everything, everywhere, everyone in this world. Breathe in. And release. Arriving back in the place where we started as you become aware of your the sensation of your body, the breath moving in and out of your, out of your body, the beating of your heart. Wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. And when you are ready, gently open your eyes. Well, welcome back. We answered the question. Is compassion love? Absolutely, it is an act of love. So as you prepare for your evening rest, so you continue with your day, take with you this centering thought. Let it be your guide, your affirmation for the week. I am an instrument of God's love. I am an instrument of God's pure love in the world. I view all with compassion. I am an instrument of God's pure love in this world. I view all with compassion. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful evening, restful evening and a wonderful day. And know that you can come back to this meditation Anytime. Thank you for joining me. And Namaste.